Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about a very famous Mexican artist. Her name is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is one of the most famous painters in Mexico. She was very heavily influenced by all of nature's surroundings. She especially liked a style of art called Mexican folk art. One of the oldest Mexican art styles is Mexican folk art. You can tell it's Mexican folk art because everything is handcrafted and they use very bold and bright colors and lots of shapes. Which leads us into this week's project. We're going to create a Mexican folk art sea turtle collage. Our learning goal for this project is we're going to create a mixed media which is when we produce a work of art through mixed media that utilizes simple processes. A mixed media is when you take two, more than one thing and you combine it to create one artwork. In this case, we're going to take part of a drawing and we're also going to create a collage by using things we find around the house. Our learning target for this project is I can use lines in my art, which we'll do when we do the drawing part of our sea turtle, and I can get ideas from my imagination. You're going to come up with different patterns, and different color choices to add inside your turtle shell. And we're going to create the collage part by adding different materials to create our habitat for where our sea turtle is going to live. You will notice that some of the materials on here are optional. I'll give you different choices that you can use when we create our sea turtle collage. But the materials that I recommend for this project are something to draw with, whether it's a piece of paper or a brown bag, a pencil, in case you make a mistake, you can use the eraser to erase it, Mark markers are optional, crayons are optional, paint is optional, pastels are optional, and colored pencils are optional. I added those materials because you can choose whichever one you'd like to add the color for your sea turtle. The random materials that I have as leaves, grass, etc., those are things that we're going to find that we can add to create the habitat for the background to our sea turtle. Even though I'll be doing a step-by-step -step instruction here in just a moment on the video, I'm also going to provide you the option to view or print these directions. All right, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, now we're ready to start creating our sea turtle collage and drawing. So right now what I've done is I've set up some random materials that I can use for my project. And I wanted to show you some other examples that you can use if you don't have any white paper. You can use the back of an envelope to do your drawing. You could use part of a bag to draw your drawing. You could use a piece of lined paper if you have that. You could use the back of a different type of bag, like a brown paper bag or a grocery brown paper bag. And then I have some other materials here that we're, I'm going to use later for the collage. So if you could just go around and find some random materials, I found some yarn and I found some little palms that I had and some leaves that I found outside and some decorative paper. If you could find anything, you could stick to just things. If you don't have any random materials around your house to use for this project, you don't need to find any. You can use just grass or leaves or flowers right from outside into the yard. The first thing that we wanna do is whatever type of paper that you're using for your drawing for the sea turtle, I want you to make sure that it's a long way up and down, which is vertical. So that's straight up and down or hamburger style. And this is how we're going to start our drawing. I recommend using a pencil. In case you make a mistake, you can use your eraser to erase it. So our first step, and I'll make sure that you have these step-by-step -step instructions available to view on your own too, if you need to, or feel free to stop the video at any time while you're drawing. So our first step is we're going to draw the shell of our turtle and we want it to take up a lot of the space of our page. And remember, we're working with types of lines and shapes when we're doing our folk art, Mexican folk art sea turtle. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna draw a big shape for our turtle shell. So it's kind of like an, a little bit of an upside down egg shape, like an oval shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember, we're just practicing and we're just having fun. So that's done for step number one. So now we're ready for step number two. Step number two, we're gonna add the head. So we're gonna add the head of our turtle and it's just gonna be kind of a circular shape. And that's done for step two. Now we're ready for step three. Step three, we're gonna add the arms of our sea turtle because our sea turtle is gonna look like it is swimming and it's swimming in its home or its habitat. So now we have our two turtle arms. We're ready for step four. 
Step four is down at the bottom, we're going to draw the two legs of our turtle that come out from the side of the shell. So we've got one here and one there. And that will complete our step number four. We're ready for step number five and we're just gonna add a nice little tail down at the bottom of our turtle. So we're gonna show just a little bit of the tail poking out. Step number six, we're going to draw inside. We're gonna retrace this type of uh, shape that we made right here, this upside down oval shape. And we're going to just kind of give the, our turtle shell like a border. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a border to the outside of our shell. Cause so we're gonna add all of our beautiful designs inside. Step number seven, we're going to draw two straight lines. And they're gonna be diagonal lines, which means they're not gonna be straight up and down or side to side, but they're gonna have sort of a, la, uh, a turning shape to it, like a diagonal line, which it's also a straight. So we're gonna make one there, and we're gonna do another there. <clears throat> For step number eight, we're gonna add two wavy lines, and we're gonna add two wavy lines into our shell. The wavy lines go this way, and they curve around, so one wavy line, two wavy lines. And we're just gonna add those two lines into our shell. And for our last step, for our step number nine, is when we're gonna add our extra details. Now, our sea turtle is swimming in the sea or in the ocean. So if it's swimming in the sea or in the ocean in its habitat, we need to add some things that we might find inside the sea or the ocean. So you could add wavy lines in the background of your turtle to make it seem like it's underwater. You could add circles to maybe represent bubbles that your turtle might be making while it's swimming. For this part of our drawing, we are finished. And now if you want, you can go ahead and you can add color to your sea turtle. I would love it if you could make some color onto it. So you could use markers or pastels or chalk or paint or crayons, anything that you'd like to to add some color. And then you're gonna go ahead when you're finished with that and I want you to start adding some of your materials that we gathered to put them around your sea turtle to make it look and give it that habitat. And remember, the habitat is where our turtle is living. So you can use those materials that you found to give it kind of a background. And if you wanna make it go over top of your turtle, you can make it go over top of part of your turtle. You could have it go around your turtle if you wanted to make it like a border around. But you're going to add your extra pieces, which makes this a collage or a mixed media. And remember, mixed media is when we add more than one thing to combine it together to create one artwork. And in this case, we're adding a drawing and we're mixing it together with a collage because we have pieces here that we have either found or I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cut some different shapes to create some things, maybe like algae or plants that you find in the ocean floor. I recommend if you are adding color to your picture that you add your color before you go ahead and you set on your extra pieces to create your background. When you're finished, you don't need to glue it down. So if you don't have glue, don't worry about it. You could just take a picture of it just like this and upload it and you are finished with your folk art sea turtle. I hope you had fun.